Hi everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare. You can visit us at peachesskincare.com. And I also invite you to follow us on Instagram and Facebook where you can see a little bit more about my holistic beliefs in skincare and what my master estheticians can do for you. Today, uh, we're gonna talk about something called Wabi Sabi. But before we do, I would really ask you from the bottom of my heart to please subscribe take a minute to do that and take a minute to like this video. You can also hit the bell so you know when my videos come up. YouTube is a tough place and getting my videos seen uh, can be really difficult. So the more that you subscribe, the more that they will show my videos. Today we're gonna to talk about what happens when you're with your skin when you change products or go to products that are better for your skin. Now, I had a video a few months back on this. I actually can't find it right now. I don't know what happened to it. But so many people are asking me that I thought this would really be a great time to go back really re-teach um, you about this and help you to understand what's going on with your skin. So whether it's Peaches skincare or you're trying something new that is like face food for your skin, your skin takes time to change over and bring up new tissue. Um, so what happens is we're gonna use some paper and each of these pieces of paper are like layers of your skin, your epidermis, your dermis, your stratum corneum, all the different little things that are going into your skin. And when a new client comes in, typically what we'll tell them is, imagine that you've got about 30 extra layers of saran wrap on your face. And in those layers are years of damage and wrinkles and brown spots and funguses and bacteria. And there are actually studies that show that most of our damage comes before the age of 21, 22. Now, there are other studies that show that every decade or so, so there's about 10% more damage. But my beliefs in taking care of skin for over 30 years is that as we bring up new tissue, as we remove that saran wrap layer, that callus layer, and new tissue is forming and coming up, it's pushing out or purging all of the damage and all of the junk. So as you remove layer number one or callus layer number one, you might have some acne and bacteria that's been underneath and you'll really see some purging. Now what's the difference between purging and breaking out? Purging is typically anything that's a pimple. It can be redness, it can be flaking, um, but it's not typically something really aggressive. It's just that the skin is pushing out all the junk, which is what the skin's job is. It's to protect the organs of the body and the bones. It's to uh, make sure temperature is correct with the body and to purge out any impurities or anything that it doesn't like. So when you get a blackhead or a whitehead, that's the skin pushing it out. It's like when we were young and someone would tell you that that sliver would push itself out. That's really true. The skin pushes out things that it doesn't like. So let's say that layer three, you know, looks pretty good and you're not having any breakout and you're like, okay, the skincare is working. And maybe things look really great for about a week, but then layer four and five, or maybe we're even deeper and it's layer 12 and 13, has fungus or bacteria on it. And you see some redness or some irritation. But as you keep washing and you keep masking, and every 28 to 29 days, your skin is bringing up new tissue and you're helping it to do that naturally, you eventually have beautiful new healthy tissue and skin. Now, you will see this from the beginning. If you can get past looking at the breakout and get past looking at the, at the imperfections that are coming up, you will see shades of beautiful new tissue. Now, does this mean that for the rest of your life you won't break out? Um, these masks are affecting all of our skin, including mine, um, and I do, I'm very diligent. I really don't break out, but when I do, I might get one or two, especially if my husband and I are walking along the beach and it's a really hot day and we're sweating a little bit under our masks. Um, but if you get home and you clean everything, you should be able to prevent that. And my point to that is, as you learn how to take care of your skin and you're feeding your skin, you'll always hear me say, feeding with antioxidants. And those are like 
food for your skin, just like an apple to the body or drinking water. When you look at a label, they should look like ingredients that you would eat or use. And that's why I don't love the demonization of essential oils and botanicals. They have been used for centuries to heal the body and the skin. And I can tell you, they work on all colors of skin and all problems with the skin. I've seen it on hundreds of thousands of clients. So as you learn how to take care of your skin, when something comes up, you're going to know what to do. So take your time, be patient. We tell clients that, especially new clients, it can take six to 12 months, give us six to 12 months, and you won't believe what you'll see with your skin. But that doesn't mean that you won't notice a wrinkle gone or a little brown spot lighter, but you also may notice another dark spot comes up that you didn't have before. And that's why it's so important to be consistent. You all um, laugh at how my regime is, but I am very consistent and I'm very much about sticking to a program. It's about masking and helping that skin to bring up all the impurities from within your tissue so that new tissue can form. Be patient. Uh, stay the course. Don't give up, especially with a skincare product that is really changing your skin for the good. And not all of them do. So if you're using something um, and it's not peaches, you know I talk about peaches a lot because that's what I have learned and I'm an expert in uh, for over three decades. But I can help you with whatever you're using. Just comment with kindness below and I'll help you through whatever you're using on your skin. So let's go back to wabi-sabi. Wabi-sabi is a Japanese word for loving and finding beauty in the imperfections in life or in things like wood or a home or a piece of fabric um, and on a person's skin, a woman aging, a man aging, and saying how grateful you are to be having the honor to do that. Looking at a wrinkle and realizing that that wrinkle is from you smiling and laughing so much throughout life, or an area where maybe you have a discoloration or you had a hard time because um, you remember losing a parent or losing someone you love or the time that you uh, went on a vacation with your loved one or your children and you forgot your hat and you got some sunburn and maybe you have a brown spot that's going to come up on your forehead. I know those are really silly analogies but wabi-sabi is being grateful for having things that are imperfect, for not always trying to make everything so perfect. Freckles are beautiful, and many of you have asked me how to get rid of them. Your freckles are beautiful, and if you take care of your skin, yes, some of them may fade away, and it's okay if they all don't. It's having a line where you laugh, it's okay. It's having expression, that's beautiful, and it's having beautiful gray hair that says that you have lived a long life and you have gotten to make it this far. So I hope this helped you to understand how using good skincare, face food, antioxidants, uh, blueberries, pomegranates, vitamin A, vitamin C, help and change your skin to be its best and to bring up new tissue and how to appreciate Wabi Sabi how to appreciate the imperfections of life and the imperfections in you. I love all of you. I love that you're watching. I am so grateful and I hope you stay beautiful naturally.